and welcome to the podcast featuring everyone you love to hate. I'm sitting here with your favorite racist, Charlie. Everyone's absolutely despised, opinionated man, Kaya. The uh, Reddit <laughs> joke stealer, Jackson. That's me. And my myself, Andrew, a man who literally has had various petitions to be removed from the show. <laughs> and we're joined here with Ralph, the movie maker, who... He talks about movies, but who gives a fuck because everyone hates everyone on this show. Ralph, I want to ask the hardest hitting question. How are you today? I'm doing great. How are you doing? I'm doing fantastically. All right, let's let's talk about movies. <laughs> Can you tell from that passive movies? aggressive? Right away. <laughs> <laughs> passive aggressive? No. I'm, I'm, wait, who came off passive aggressive? Oh, Andrew. Oh, 100%. Yeah. <laughs> I thought you were calling me passive. I'm like, oh no. <laughs> I blew but, uh, it. <laughs> But all, all, all kidding and passive aggression aside, Ralph, if you would like to give yourself a true introduction, by all means. I mean, you got it. I talk about movies on the internet. What else do you want to talk about? <laughs> Not that interesting. Yes. That's all I do. He's selling himself short. He's also a co-host on the very popular Sardonic cast, where I'm still oh, yeah. recovering from his verbal beatdown of my opinion of <laughs> The Incredibles 2. No, dude, it's your opinion of Incredibles 2. That's fine. I, liked, I just like talking about movies with people. So hearing Charlie's take was awesome. But yeah, uh, what, I, what was his I take? He liked, liked it, it, and I told him how wrong he was. And it's <laughs> yeah. you know, it's he all right. Beat me down for it. <laughs> he showed the utmost respect by just <laughs> annihilating me for it. Well, I mean, that's how you see it. But yeah. you gave your opinion. I thought you held your own. I thought it was awesome. You were a great <laughs> guest. Honestly, I loved having oh, you on. That was, that was sweet. Yeah, that was I am sweet. All right. But since <laughs> you guys watch movies. Yeah, I was just about to say, since we already brought up movies, have you seen any stinkers recently, or what's the biggest stinker you've seen? I haven't really seen anything recently. This has been a bad summer. Have mm. you guys felt that way? Like, there were mm. a couple good things, mm -hmm. but I don't think anything, like... What was what was the best thing that came out during this summer, yeah, we then? we flip the script. It doesn't have to be a stinker. What have you seen? Uh, like, a big summer movies? Like, Mission Impossible was okay. Mm. Yeah, and it was an alright movie. Yeah. yeah, that was fun. But it was good. It was, yeah. yeah. And, like, that's... I think that's the last movie I saw in a theater. Ralph, that's, oh. that's, uh, that ties into what I was thinking, and, and I wanted to ask you a movie aficionado. Do you think that as time has gone on, Mission Impossible has gotten way better and more fun and exciting, and James Bond has just gotten way more unexciting and bad? Um, I don't think it's like a perfect correlation. Like the first, well, do you like the Daniel Craig ones at all? I do, like the but beginning I, just, ones? I, don't, I don't think they stand up. I don't. I don't think yeah? he's as good. Well, yeah. do you think Skyfall's good? Because I think Skyfall was good, and then after that, it fell off with Spectre. No, Spectre think, was awful. I did not like Spectre at all. Yeah, Spectre sucks, and it has like the worst opening theme song in like any oh, James yeah. Bond movie. That <laughs> Sam Smith shit it doesn't fit mm -hmm. at all. And then, but like the Mission Impossible movies are like some of them are really good, some of them are eh. Like the fifth one wasn't all that great. It was okay, and I Which think the one best one is the fourth one. That's the so, one between Ghost Protocol and the new one, right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah that one was Fallout? okay. Oh, well, no, yeah. this one's Fallout. No, this was Fallout, yeah. What's the... That was Rogue Nation. Last one is Rogue Fallout. Nation. Fifth oh, yeah, one is Rogue, Rogue Nation. Nation. Right. Four is Ghost Protocol, which is Can't great. they just number yeah, these? I, I remember Ghost Protocol being really, really good. Oh, Ghost Protocol was awesome, yeah. man. That yeah. was yeah. a great Protocol one. Ghost my favorite and one. And then Fallout... Three was pretty the, good, too. I like JJ. Yeah, and then the one we just saw, we all thought was pretty, you know, pretty good. Inoffensive in any way. Yeah. Well, a stinker that... We watched Charlie that I immediately deleted out of my head because I couldn't even retain the memory because I, I just had this shit gurgling in my body, uh, Slender Man. Oh, oh I've heard a lot of bad things about that. I couldn't even concentrate on the movie because I had diarrhea so bad and I was keeping it in. Charlie That's and I we had no Slender discussion Man. about that movie. We no. saw The Meg with Jason Statham, and immediately afterwards, we saw Slender Man. And somewhere like mm. 10 minutes into Slender Man, my whole existence became just containing this <laughs> shit in my body. And I think it was like So could you not focus on the movie then? Not was it the movie that caused the diarrhea or the other way around? No, just I couldn't focus at all on the movie whatsoever. I mean, the movie was ass. I got that much. It was absolutely yeah. terrible, and I know that even Charlie wasn't able to follow unless Charlie was also being lobotomized by turds in his <laughs> system. But I just, I couldn't focus on anything. Like, not, I was sweating. It was bad. It was really bad. Wow. And Charlie had to drive me home in an emergency. 
I'm telling him to hit all the lights. I don't care if it's red lights. I don't care if we get in an accident. At least I'll wait, wait, wait. Me. You left the movie early to shit? No, no, no. no, no but... he, he troopered it out. Okay. Yeah, yeah. I stuck That's through impressive. it. But by the end of yeah. it, Tiana forgot her keys or something in the movie theater, and we just ditched her. <laughs> I'm just tugging on <laughs> <Yeah>. Charlie's. <laughs> I was tugging on his shirt like Charlie. We gotta go. Like we can't <laughs> be looking for clues here. That we, we can't wa- wait for her. We gotta go. And I know, like he's gonna get shit because you know you you don't just leave your girlfriend behind to what to look for her keys all by herself. He's gonna get shit. I know, but he, you know he threw himself on the grenade. He took one for me. <laughs> uh, I will always appreciate that. He's just rushing me home to the toilet. And I don't think I even <laughs> saw Charlie afterwards that night. I, no. I just locked myself into the bathroom. I remember Jesus. some, like, two hours into a delirious shitting session, he knocked on the door going, are you still alive? <laughs> He's not All the body fluids are out of your body. You're just like a husk, an empty husk. What a it fucking It was one of those you. shits where I took the shit, and, and it took me, like, 30 minutes the first round, and I went... To bed and I laid down and my stomach was just feeling so bad still. It was like a horrible hangover. I had to get back yeah. up and take another Jesus. shit. Jesus. Sounds like the shit took you. <laughs> oh, dude, it was terrible. Yeah, and that was... was still not as bad as the shit I had to take while I was on the plane right back. Uh, it, just, it was a bad vacation for me all around in terms of <laughs> shitting. Yeah. yeah, yeah. In terms of ass. Yeah. <laughs> so, Ralph, what was your uh, worst theater experience to tie <laughs> oh onto that God. story? Yeah, I was thinking of a theater experience during that. So, I was on a date. We saw Mad Max Fury Road. Oh, great, great movie. movie. Yeah. Great movie. Oh, yeah. Sound was a little movie. was a little off. The sounds the sound system was anyway, but whatever. So, we left the theater. We go eat sushi. I tell her, get whatever you want. You know, I'm a YouTuber. I'm, I'm, a, I'm a big star. No, is, yeah, I'm paying. I got all this YouTube money. No, I was like 16, but so I had no money. But I'm like, I'm like, get whatever you want. Sushi. We ordered like a hundred dollars of sushi. Turns out, I dropped my wallet in the movie theater. That's like 20 minutes away. Mm. I have no money, so I'm like, you're hey, girl, you're, you're gonna have to pay for it. Ouch. I know that's not really a movie experience, but I've, it's that's kind so of correlated. Good, yeah. yeah. So we went back, and I got my wallet. And, I, Get I whatever you want. Yeah. Was the yeah. sushi good? Yeah, the sushi was. It was pretty good. Because it was it free, right? Ruining the date. But yeah, because it was free. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> you found That's your probably wallet. The though? worst. <gasps> yeah, I did find it in the theater. Thank he God. Threw it at the screen because like, the movie it was, was in between, so good. Yeah, because <laughs> Mad Max is that awesome. It was like in between the seats in the theater. Mm. Oh, well. you got really lucky then. Yeah. 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 So that date didn't go well. <laughs> on piggybacking off of Kaya's shit story, though, he's still underselling, like, the high stakes that that experience oh, yeah. was. Like, he wanted me, like, drifting out of the parking lot and, like, going off, like, fucking <laughs> ramps and shit to, like, skip <laughs> levels. And Oh, my lord. Well, Charlie's just <laughs> laughing at me like an asshole. Oh, yeah. boy, he's just giggling his ass off while I'm suffering. I'm literally digging my feet into the floor of his car, trying, just doing my bestest not to shit my pants into his car and god just tampa is such a shit town there's like a stoplight every two miles yeah they literally have to stop oh, every yeah. two miles it's such a ridiculous uh system you've built there some terrible city planning i'm just suffering i'm in agony yeah. and charlie's laughing what his ass off. did you eat something uh-huh. fucked up yeah, you, had, you had popcorn didn't you guy yeah, but I mean yeah. that was just the last of it. I don't know what the hell I ate yeah, before popcorn that. Popcorn wouldn't do that. What did we? Popcorn's you, high in fiber. Yeah, it would. We all, we all. Well, the this was like a liquidy, watery it. shit, right? Yeah. Mm. No, no, it wasn't just liquidy, watery shit. But the popcorn oh. was just the last drop in the bucket that just caused it to burst and the dam to break. But <laughs> well, I don't know you, what I ate before. Didn't you go like a week without shitting while you were here anyway? Maybe that was the yeah, floodgates finally opening. No, that was before. There was also uh, almost uh, an emergency. I felt like three almost just near misses. I was like a toddler who still can't like hold his asshole shut. <laughs> no, it's the opposite. I'm like a for some reason I just couldn't shit some days, and then I would have to deal with the leftover shits the next day. That's the problem. Yeah. Brought on but. by Slender Man. So, what do you rate Slenderman out of five? <laughs> I guess I guess that was your review of Slenderman, Solid which is zero. probably the best. I, mean, I remember it. I, I still remember it being terrible. I mean, yeah. I got uh-huh. that much. I 
I don't. Why make know. a movie about Slenderman now? It's like six years after it's relevant at all. I don't all. know. The movie, from what I remember, Charlie, fill in the lack of my memory here, since I feel I'm. I'm basically the guy who gets knocked in the back of his head in any action movie <laughs> to get taken out. Of, like I got knocked out by my shit, and then I wake up five minutes after. But there's this girl. She looks like mm-hmm. Loki if he had a vagina from the Marvel movies. She kind of weird looking. Oh, just Loki. Emo. Yeah. Loki. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Loki the character. I th- yeah, okay. Yes. As opposed to what? Loki the salesman? Like what? I thought he was saying like Loki is in the term. You know, oh. like oh, okay, okay. He, oh, no, he, no. he low key had a vagina, <laughs> right? Tom no, Hiddleston, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Tom yeah, Hiddleston yeah. as low key, except it's a high school girl. That's what she looks like. And they they mm-hmm. watch porn, and then they summon some sort of a video where they mm-hmm. say Slenderman's <laughs> name three times, and then Slenderman keeps sn- snatching her friends one by one, and sh- that's all. That's what I remember. I don't know if she beats it. I don't remember anything <laughs> towards the end. I remember her a- having these delirious fever dreams just as I was sitting in the movie theater. <laughs> maybe maybe that was Slenderman reaching out to you. Like instead of taking you, he just took your colon. They put out a health advisory that this movie will make you shit your pants. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Not You'd be the best marketing for him. This man almost shit oh. himself. It was so scary. No, it, yeah, exactly. <laughs> That's an incredible marketing strategy. Yeah. Oh, great. It'll put you in pain. <laughs> <laughs> it was a really bad movie. Kai is was there a twist to it? Was there any kind of like twist mm-hmm. at the end? Did Slenderman turn into the good guy or, or something? Anything? I, actually, no. Slenderman kind of became like a scapegoat for the trees. The trees ended up being like the villains. What the does that mean? Yeah. Yeah, she swallowed her at the end. Oh mm-hmm. my god, was this like a oh. a message like the happening where like the trees started making everyone commit no, there, suicide? Oh yeah, because of global no, warming. Yeah. yeah, yeah. There was no message here. It was just the trees got mad, I guess, because they yeah. ate two people. They literally ate two people. What kind of so, Doctor Seuss movie was this? Yeah. So it wasn't Slenderman. Was Slenderman in it? He was in it. Like, I think he was controlling the trees, maybe. Like, he was the master puppeteer <laughs> pulling the strings. He was controlling the trees. Wow. Uh, it, was a, it, was bad. it was a stinker, Ralph. I wouldn't recommend it. <laughs> oh, I'll watch it one day. Have you guys seen anything else bad? Because I'd love to chime in with Slenderman, but I... Uh, Bob Burnham's turd. What was it called? <laughs> Bob Burnham's turd. Yeah, Bob yeah. Burnham's right? turd. You didn't like it? No, it was a piece of shit. Fuck you, Bob. <laughs> I knew nothing about it. Charlie dragged me there. I I thought mm-hmm. Bob yeah. Bob Burnham Bo was Burnham. this guy like <laughs> Bob Burnham. <laughs> Bob Burnham. Fuck. <laughs> Cares fuck him. I thought he was like Adam Sandler, like he was gonna be in the movie or something. I just keep hearing like, oh, Burnham is in this Bur- Bob Burnham's movie. I thought he was literally. Well, no wonder the next- you were misled. You saw Bob Burnham's movie down the road, not Bo Burnham's movie. <laughs> he didn't see the right movie. Yeah, no, I, you I saw a he fucking was some sort of, a- of it. Prodigy, the next Adam Sandler, and no, it turns out it's just a shitty movie he wrote where it's just as a girl where the whole concept is, oh, isn't it ultra relatable? Ha ha, here's a principal and he's dabbing. Isn't it funny, kids? Is it aren't boomers super disconnected from today's youth? They think dabbing is still cool. Ha ha ha. That's the whole humor of the movie. Then there's a 10 minute awkward rape scene in it where you just. Oh, I wouldn't call that a rape through. scene. Not a rape scene, but it's just. It's such a not a good. Yeah, it's like time. this this awkward sexual encounter. Yeah. Yeah, and it just yeah. gets drawn out for so long. Like I get it. Okay, could could we not do this in real time? Could we use movie time, please, where time flies a little faster than me? Literally, <clears throat> it's like watching two people kiss on the bus, except he makes you watch it for twenty minutes or something. Was it meant to be uncomfortable? Yeah, because yes. that sounds like yeah. it achieved yeah. its yeah. goal. I totally understand why you did yeah. that. Mm-hmm. Yeah, but no, but it's not fun. A movie is still oh, supposed yeah. to. At the end of it's a day, supposed the to movie is supposed to be a good time. It wasn't a good time. I, I don't think it was. I think it was just, just supposed to su- represent eighth grade in an accurate way. And I think yes, it did. But it, that doesn't totally. make it fun. Sure, yes, that might have been accurate, but I could all. That doesn't take skill or anything special. I could represent what it's like to watch two people kiss on the bus. I, I think it does that take a lot of skill to accurately represent real life. Yeah, don't but, you think in a movie? It would take skill to make it fun and enjoyable to watch, which it wasn't. It well, literally that's a was just of hey, followed. <laughs> I guess. 
Yeah. I guess, I, I mean, mean that, the that people scene in the movie was theater, that one scene, but. the people in the movie theater were losing their shit every time the, the principal dabbed or her dad <laughs> did something silly like, oh, wabba ba da ba Hey, what are you doing? That was a joke they actually made at the end too. Wabba la ba dup dup. They Rick and morty Yeah, they were Literally. like lame kids. Lame kids talk like that. I don't know. I thought it was cute because of how authentic it was to eighth grade. And all the dabbing and shit, adults really do that. And so the movie was kind of making fun of that. Eh, I get it. So you, you liked the movie, Ruff? Yeah, I thought it was okay. I mean, I don't think it's like this masterpiece or anything, but I think he just wanted to write a movie about this young girl kind of awkwardly transitioning from eighth grade to ninth grade and just how just uncomfortable that period in your life is. And I think he did it really well. You know, I thought mm-hmm. it was funny and it was sweet. And like, I don't think it's anything special again, but I thought it was pretty well done for what it was. Others did. Apparently this was some sort of a comedic masterpiece that Charlie dragged me to. He had high hopes for it. <laughs> Charlie, we were- was very excited. I understand what it's going for, but I agree with Kai. I really walked oh. out of there and not like, I didn't think my time was well spent. It, okay. it just I understand. Well, like, maybe you should just hate high school. Yeah, maybe you hate movies <laughs> yeah, that no, aren't shit. fun. There's a reason I don't go around following eighth <laughs> graders and watching their lives. It's not fun. Even so if you're you make telling it a me, documentary. You're telling me you went to a movie called Eighth Grade about eighth graders and I said, didn't Wait, know this. Again, <laughs> Charlie dragged me yeah. there. I, I, thought, I brought him. I thought eighth, eighth grade was something like, oh, The Hangover. I thought it was going to be grown men having fun doing fun shit in a comedy. It, I didn't in know it was in eighth grade. Yeah. <laughs> Adam Sandler's no, just no, in eighth grade. What the a fuck? Full grown how are, no, got how left are you guy. getting this shit for this? I literally <laughs> thought maybe it was some sort of an Adam Sandler plot where he has to go back to eighth grade. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, though, that was Billy Madison. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, Kai, he made that Kai's, exact movie. In Kai's defense, I told him nothing yes. about the movie because I didn't know anything about it either. No, I just went Charlie's it, fault. Well, I went in blind as well. I also didn't know anything about the movie. I only knew, you knew what I read title. about on Twitter. Yeah, you yeah. knew it was made by Bo Burnham, the greatest mm-hmm. comedic genius of all time. I, I oh, like yeah, Bo Burnham. Clearly. Yeah, I like oh, Bo. I, okay. I like Bo. Oh, I he does great stand-up. Yeah. yeah. I haven't seen his stand-up. I've only heard the songs and I saw 8th Grade. Bo. His stand-up so, is he sits on a stool and goes, and now my movie, 8th Grade, and you watch it with him. Oh, <laughs> oh awesome. wonderful. Okay, so I've basically experienced the stand-up. <laughs> you've experienced the, you've awesome. experienced the Bob Burnham stand-up. And then when it <laughs> ends, he gets mad if you don't clap. Oh, okay. You have to yeah. laugh at all the jokes consistently through 8th Grade. He plays exactly. an awkward truth or dare with an 8th grader and gets angrier as she doesn't undress. Oh. <laughs> God, that what sounds a like creepy, fun. shitty scene. That sounds like fun. Speaking of fun, Andrew, yeah. talk about uh, the great savings you could have using honey. That is a lot of fun. <laughs> I love when I'm going to spend money, but then I spend less money than I originally thought because I use honey. Honey is a free shopping tool that finds the best promo codes whenever you shop online. Now, it may sound too good to be true, such as how good of a movie 8th grade was, but let's go over the facts You're probably wondering, how much money can Honey save me? It turns out, Ralph, do you want to tell people how much? I don't know how much. That's right. Over $800 million have been saved with Honey. Now, you might also be thinking, Honey doesn't work on sites that I shop at. But the truth is, Honey works on how many websites there, Ralph? Um, I don't know. Please tell me. 30,000 websites. Holy shit! See, Ralph gets it. He understands. He's in the business. So now the big question Mm -hmm. is, how is Honey free? What's the catch? Well, there is no catch. It's They get a small commission from the sites where you save money, so it will always stay free. You know, Charlie, I think that you bought something on Honey because you brought up Honey. Would you like to tell us what you bought with Honey and how much you saved? Healthy Delights, I believe, is the brand name. They're dark chocolate turmeric bites. Ew. I eat them as my pre-workout carb. Uh, oh. I saved, like, I, they were pretty cheap, so I only saved, like, six bucks on, like, an order of, like, three or four. Are they? Well, hey, that's, I mean, it's sizable. Yeah. Yeah. I want to save $6. You you saved money for free. You should be a bit more thankful to the gods of honey. I didn't want to like, you know, I saved $10 billion on my healthy bites. But yes, I did save a good sizable chunk. I would save a penny if it were free and be grateful. Like, Mm -hmm. uh, we have to get this across. Honey is free. I don't know why not every human on earth uses it. It's ridiculous. There's no reason not to use it. It's free, installs in two clicks. Get Honey for free right now at joinhoney.com slash official. That's joinhoney.com slash Ralph. You want to you wanna say it? 
Um, I'm joining it right now. Official. <laughs> we practice this. <laughs> I didn't practice this at all. You guys just invited me on. <laughs> Join honey.com slash official. To switch Damn. gears though, Ralph, there is something I wanted to toss at you, man. You said you haven't Ooh. seen a movie recently, but I actually saw a really, really good one recently that caught me by surprise mm. called Searching. Have you seen that? No spoilers. I've, saw, no spoilers. I've seen the trailers for it. That's all from uh, Skype or like it's all a desktop yeah. movie, right? Oh, it's like, doesn't it's it like start the, uh, Doesn't it mm-hmm. star the guy from Mythbusters? It stars well, Harold and Kumar. Harold and Kumar. Which yeah, he looks yeah, exactly like the he looks exactly like the guy from Mythbusters. Wow, that's fucked up, dude. That's pretty Don't, racist. I Your resident racist guy. Andrew. You're right, because I can't say that one person looks like another person, but they really do look exactly the same. I haven't seen Mythbusters in a while, but yeah, it has a guy from Harold and Kumar, and it's filmed like unfriended, except much better. And I thought the gimmick was going to be stupid as fuck, but it really improved the movie a lot. It was just an oh. all-around amazing movie. Yeah, yeah I'm really looks, interested. It looks in really the interested. trailer. Interesting. Yeah, it's really, really good. I think the desktop movie idea could be cool. I've seen it be cool in like short movies. There's this short like called Noah on YouTube somewhere. It's all desktop, which is awesome. But yeah, the unfriended movies are just stupid, and mm-hmm. they fucking use that mm-hmm. like because they just want to save money, and those movies are so cheap. Bad. What is unfriended? It's, 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 a, it's a horror movie. Yeah, oh yeah. Skype. Just takes over their computer and makes them commit suicide and stuff yeah. on live <laughs> Skype. Oh. And somehow they they all can't stop watching. They can't leave the yeah. window or anything. They just yeah. they, it's they, always they're... every single fucking time. There's a teen like, oh my god, we're in a group, and there's a ghost making us all die one by one. Every single fucking time the plot twist is, it's because you cheated on your girlfriend with the main <laughs> character. Ooh, got her. <laughs> Yeah, Every a, single fucking time. Uh, you think that's that stupid? Not- Did you see the second one? The Unfriended yeah, 2? Yeah, yeah, Wait, there is a second one? Here. There is a second one, yeah, and it's hackers. Instead of a Skype ghost, it's like all these hackers. Oh, isn't, and they're like, isn't that you where stole they our laptop? The, uh, isn't oh, that yeah. where the, uh, the fucking like, shock video in the trailer is? They're like, I got these barrels here in this warehouse. Oh, yeah. Let's open one up. And there's like yeah. a woman inside. Yeah, it's yeah. the most ridiculous I, shit. I thought like, it was a comedy. Are, I know. And then the hackers start like breaking into their house and killing them. One of them calls the police on somebody and then like downloads uh, like a shotgun sound effect onto his desktop and like plays it and the police shoot him. It's the dumbest <laughs> fucking thing I've ever seen. The fuck. Yeah, and no lie, there's like Minecraft plays a big role in it because that's there's like a there's like a hidden hacker realm called um yeah called Roblox. Like, I, yeah. It's like, I don't know. It's like the other. It's like the other side, and you travel via canoe. So like a big plot thing is like oh. don't cross the ether or whatever, and and he yeah. he crosses the ether and he's in a Minecraft boat going through like a dark tunnel. Yeah, and you hear like the torch from Minecraft in the background. It's like oh my yeah. god, this is so fucking bad. So wait, we've made a blockbuster movie in theaters that literally took the scene from Law and Order where they're playing Second Life and chasing down the murderer, and they're like, follow him, and they're like flying around as like avatars and bullshit. (laughs) Are you Mm -hmm. kidding? They made his girlfriend deaf for no reason. When did this come out? How fast? Is this like direct to video? I I think it's the Unfriended was 2015, I believe, maybe, or maybe 2014. I mean, yeah, Kaya, and then this you, one was pretty recent. Kaya, you got to like remember, they have they have no budget and they're filmed very yeah. easily and quickly. It took them like two months to make, probably. Yeah, Not even kidding. yeah but yeah. on a budget of what, like four million dollars, if that. Yeah. Okay, but yeah. Uh, what kind of strings do you have to pull to get that into the movie theaters? Uh, I feel like the distribution of it. The, the, well, you got Blumhouse, which is like this big horror yeah. distributor, and they just release shit in theaters, just shit, anything they can. The other big yeah. problem is they also make gangbusters in terms of profit. Like you shoot a shit little horror movie in two months for two million dollars, and then it makes fifteen million dollars. It's, it's like it's well, a proof of system. This this yeah. made Unfriended made sixty five million. It's yeah, why I don't, it's why I don't want to go to these movies in the theaters because I know that it's like oh you're, I'm not supporting it. Like I know it doesn't matter, but I just I don't want to give my money to that. Yeah, that's totally I fair. Actually, I had movie I pass, totally, which is why I did it. <laughs> I totally respect Blumhouse, to be honest with you, because they just throw anything at the wall. Like, they gave us Upgrade. I don't know if you've seen Upgrade yet, Ralph, but that's... Yeah, that's true. Well, wasn't... That's one that, of the best movies wait, 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 I've wait, wait, seen wait, wait, in theaters. That wasn't, that wasn't give, Blumhouse. Like, oh, that was their offshoot. That was a different it's still studio. Blumhouse. It's the still blanket. It's, yeah. yeah. The umbrella. They have Whiplash, too. They have... They have like, Get oh. Out. Yeah. 
They have whiplash. So, sometimes right. good stuff gets through their system, which is why I agree with you, Charlie. Their system is cool, and I commend them. But it's whiplash it's, is eh. good shit. What's funny, though, is, uh, what's funny though is those aren't horror movies. They're like thrillers <laughs> and action movies. Yeah, so they're not. They don't do just horror. They quite literally fund anything that they can on a small budget. Yeah, right. They take yeah, they take things that like studios won't take because it's not you know expensive enough. It's not like a blockbuster. Mm -hmm. They take it. I mean, that's yeah, they that's do about fine. fifteen movies a year. Jesus it's, Christ, it's immense. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, but it's the horror ones that make the most money, which is fucking sad to me. I want to see more yeah. upgrades. I want to see more mm. whiplashes. I just yeah. I love the concept. That can't, that must have not cost a lot either. Three million. I mean, it's literally yeah. just J.K. Simmons in a room abusing people <laughs> for two hours. <laughs> no, I want to watch this movie. They shot that in like 19 days. They made that yeah. quick. Yeah. It was just really? behind the scenes, the whole yeah. movie. They went to his house and he went, oh, you're filming a movie? I guess I'll be in it. <laughs> yeah, it was just like the real movie, how the movie's all intense and fucking fast paced. That's how the shoot was. Just people running around, bleeding. <laughs> God, oh, I had awesome. no idea wow. they did Whiplash, actually. That's that's pretty surprising to me. I love Whiplash. And they that is a great movie. Whiplash, too. They Whiplash fund so fantastic. many good movies. Whiplash, I made Charlie watch that and I mm -hmm. knew that... So the hook by itself, it's not really, it's not good bait for people who aren't into drama. Usually, like, it's not some fast-paced action shit. But I knew that the moment Charlie saw that first abuse scene where he just yells at his students, he was yeah. going to get hooked. Because he just has so much fun to watch him yell. Yeah, I really got to watch Simmons this is movie. Man. Mm -hmm. Oh, you haven't seen it yet, Andrew? No, I haven't. You need to watch it. It's oh, you great. should totally watch it. Was it in theaters? Mm -hmm. Yeah. 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 Oh. It was uh, just in theaters I, one day, and I saw it, it like, because I didn't hear about it, and it was the most yeah. amazing fucking movie. I was like, I mean, what it, is this? Why has no one talked about this I movie? Mean, it's amazing. Except for, uh, except for Kaya's ramblings on it, I've literally never heard of this movie, except for <laughs> Kaya talking about it. So Same. You should totally watch it. Yeah, like I said, Damn. the like, if you saw it on Netflix or something, you would think, wow, this is another shitty Netflix original. What's this about? A jazz drummer? Oh yeah, that sounds exciting. But then you watch it and they literally make jazz drumming super exciting. Yeah. It, everything about it is just really well done. Like, I had no interest in, like, the concept when you hear it. And then Kaya, on our fourth movie of the day, said, let's watch Whiplash. <laughs> so we did. Yeah. Yeah, yeah you guys watch I love the direct of movies. It's we so, also uh, of movies Kaya and I watched. We saw a terrible yeah. one before God. Whiplash, so I just had to wash the taste of shit out of my mouth. I don't know oh, what, what you it was. Watch? That was yeah, Slender Man. One. Or, uh, no, God, it wasn't. No. It was, uh... I forgot. We saw another one, though. Exactly. Was it a remember. horror movie? I feel like it was. Probably. <laughs> we, we, oh, my God. The amount of movies Kai and I saw. To, to switch gears, though, since now we brought up Whiplash, there's something I want to toss at you, Ralph. Yeah. Of, like, the last, like, how long have you been on YouTube now? Like, four or five years? Yeah, yeah, four or five years. I've been on since I was 12, but I didn't get good till like, I don't count anything prior to four years ago. <laughs> Yeah. Okay. Well, I was just gonna. That's I was just fair. gonna say, in the last however long you've been on YouTube doing the movie stuff, what is the best movie that you've seen in that period of time, and which oh, would you give wow. your highest recommend recommendation? Oh boy, that's a that's a tough question. Well, like growing up, I think my favorite movie I've seen, like that came out in that period, was Under the Skin. That's my favorite. That's like my favorite movie ever. I don't know if I'd recommend it to you guys because that's a fucking weird ass um, abstract movie. The, you might be into the, that kind of thing, but it's not a movie made for everybody. Is um, it the alien thing? Yeah, that's, Scarlett Johansson's yeah. like an alien who kidnaps yeah, men, yeah. and it sounds like the like a corny sci-fi B movie or something. But it's so was, creepy and well done. I was gonna watch it. I couldn't. Are you saying it's really good? Uh, I I'd say give it a shot. <laughs> give it okay. a shot. There's um a big portion of the movie that's like shot like Borat where they put cameras all around this van Scarlett Johansson's driving around and she just pick up picks up men on the street. It's so like the it's so impressive her acting in it. And now, wait, is it real? Like is she picking yeah, it's up real. actual She's picking up actual men and like uh -huh. in, a, in the car. And I wasn't invited. And, wow. <laughs> yeah, I know. What a shame you weren't there, but it was it was so cool. You're like, "Oh my god, these real guys got in this car with her." And she doesn't eat. They would be so disappointed when they didn't get laid. Yeah, when they break when, out the contracts, like, hey, we're just filming a when movie. They, when they get in the fucking van and see the whole camera crew in the back and all this <laughs> shit. Oh. Yeah, they did a good job Thank hiding us. those cameras. I don't know how yeah, they I'd did still it. Still do it. 
Oh, yeah. I mean, are you kidding me? What? Like, Scarlett yeah, Johansson is going to be like, me, fuck yeah. me, but they're going to yeah. film it. Yeah, what if the not name of the breaker. film was The Bank Bus with Scarlett Johansson? How would you feel? <laughs> if I get to keep the film, I'm all for it. Yeah. <laughs> it's a good alternate it name for it. sounds awesome, though. I'm, I'm, I'm excited to see this. This looks cool. Yeah, Wait, you, you what's might it, like what's it, it called I mean, again? Under yeah. the Skin. You might think it's interesting. Who knows? I, I, I mean, love you, you, artsy bullshit movies that are just kind of like you barely know what's going on. I'm, I'm, I'm excited to check yeah, this it out. Is, this is the movie for you, then. <laughs> Fuck yeah. I, I think you'll enjoy it. Yeah. I'm glad. I'm trying to think of like Mad Max Fury Road is just a great movie, too. We were oh, talking about it earlier. Yeah. Yeah. It really is. Yeah. It's just fucking incredible. Best action movie in the last probably five, ten years. Maybe yeah. that I've ever seen. I'm trying yeah. to think of a I better rewatch one. I rewatch it monthly, almost. Yeah, I love it. So I feel like you could put it on any time and show it to anybody, and they'll love it. I love that era of that whole like time period where every time you had a big bad villain, he had to have a fucked up voice and a huge demeanor. (laughs) Yeah, like Bane. You got that? Yeah, you got those (laughs) couple years of just thing uh, over his face. Just yeah. Bane and a Morton Joe, where every villain was just, he's yeah. but he's like so big he'd kick your ass anyway. I love that shit. I love it too. Now, what isn't scary though, Ralph, is sleeping on a Lisa mattress. <laughs> <laughs> Good one. Because they like are that. some of the most comfortable and high quality <laughs> mattresses we have ever used. I don't know how we can express this through the internet, our sincerity, but we have all tried a Lisa mattress, real shit, and they are incredibly fucking comfortable. They, Very the comfortable. Right, the right mattress is the Lisa mattress. There are over 300,000 happy Lisa sleepers that agree that Lisa gives them the rest they need. You can order your Lisa mattress at lisa.com slash official and try it for 100 nights risk-free ships direct to your door in a convenient little box with free shipping and returns. You can buy Lisa for a fraction of the cost of a traditional mattress. That's right. You can find it at leesa.com slash... Ralph? I got water in my mouth. <laughs> Official. How are you not on point? God damn it. And get the rest that you need tonight. Holy shit. Now, Andrew, can I do this part? Can you know, I Jackson, it? I know you love Labor Day, the American holiday, so why don't you I go do. ahead and tell them about the Labor Day sale? There's a Labor Day sale on at least uh, right now with our code official. Well, oh, this is so exciting. You get up to... <laughs> $235 off. That's the biggest discount I've ever seen in my life. $235 Jesus. off and free That's shipping on your of Lisa mattress <laughs> at lisa.com slash official. That's L-E-E-S-A dot com slash official. $235 fucking dollars. Jesus. We have all tried these and like them. There is no bullshit advertising here. We love them. But anyway, back on back on the movies that you would recommend, Ralph, if you've got any more. Oh, my God. Oh, I gotta, I'll pull up a whole list for you guys. Is there anything... <laughs> You've seen this year that is just so fucking bad, aside from Slender Man. I mean, oh, I saw yeah. Crazy Rich Asians last night. Oh, well, it wasn't did. like oh, offensively bad, but my yeah. girlfriend wanted to see it. Oh. I, it I thought it was like a, I thought it was, I thought it was a comedy. I, oh. Yeah, it is. I thought it was like a comedy, like um. Yeah, it looked like it, like brides, bridesmaids, and stuff like that. But no, it's just a rom com, like a full on romantic movie, and oh. I was bored out of my mind. It wasn't like offensively bad. It's just I kind of yeah. didn't expect it just who cares so you'll forget about bored, it yeah yeah i quite literally see every new movie that releases every thursday so i have seen oh. some very hard stinkers but i honestly think probably slender man or truth or dare are the worst oh, two so oh, far don't dare. bring that truth or dare evil into this podcast episode <laughs> that i watched truth or dare with him it made me upset from how bad it was it was uh, just I've, yeah. I've never seen a, a stronger cavalcade of stupidity in a movie. Mm-hmm. Just literally a movie that establishes rules and then breaks them in the very next scene without any reason. It, wow. uh, just I got to uh, catch up on my bad horror movies. I haven't seen any of these. I mean, when I see not even a not even a horror movie. The scariest thing that happens is they go on the roof. <laughs> is there like a ghost <laughs> or something? Without their mother's permission. No. Yeah, yeah, the, the ghost that tell- for- the- there's a ghost that tells them to go on the roof, and that's why they're on the roof. Oh, so they're just dumb. But but this is the movie where like they have that Snapchat filter over all their faces permanently, <laughs> yeah. right? That makes them grin super hard. Yeah. So I, <laughs> that's I, I, kind I, of scary, Andrew, right? Well, like well, like I said earlier, I don't like want to care about shitty schlock just made for a buck horror movies. But I kind of enjoyed the premise where it's like, okay, a truth or dare game, but like you have to do what they dare. So <laughs> if they dare you to kill yourself, you have to do it. I was like, okay, that's. That's a premise. Ugh. They actually are trying something. It's something, but I mean, I don't. I don't know how a movie simultaneously has nothing happening, 
and mm-hmm. just pure stupidity happening the entire time for the whole time. It's, so what it's, is the oh. premise in the movie? How do they enforce? There's a you demon. Doing what you're, oh. Yeah, he's, there's he a even demon. has a name. Yeah. He has a Balth- name. It's like Balthazar. Balthazar or something. Is that I don't his know. name actually? I think so. Yeah, something so, like that. with a V. The, the way that they describe it, there's this old ancient monastery that has like a little girl's orphanage. And they're all like, we were hanging out in the orphanage being little girls and we loved it and it was so much fun. And then we had an abusive priest who would like beat us. So we played Truth or Dare. And then the demon of Truth or Dare came out and killed him. <laughs> but he but he kept wanting to play Truth or Dare. We didn't want to play Truth or Dare. So we had to seal him with an ancient curse from the priest. And then you kids, <laughs> you kids went to the church and let him out. Now you have to play Truth or Dare. It, it's, it's, so- it's so dumb. Oh, you want to hear the ending? The ending's amazing. Oh, yeah. um, so the main character is a YouTube star. <laughs> oh, <laughs> but, nice. Yeah, no, I'm not kidding. And um, they're at the end. They're at the church where... So you, the way that you so you seal the demon is the original person who let it out has to be the one to do it. But the person who let it out dies, which, you know, but oh. far, far be it from me from the demon killing the original person who started all of this. But, you know, whatever. Fuck it. Movie logic. So the person who let it out in the modern times dies. And he's all like, he's possessing a friend and he's like, you can't beat me. I'm, I won. F- fuck you. And then the main character, the YouTube star and her best friend, are, she's like, okay, I have an idea. It, you know, we can't stop the game, but we can get more people to play it. So they make a live vlog from the <laughs> church on her phone and they put it out to the entire world. And, and what's funny is if you look at the YouTube screen on like when they're watching the video, she only has like a thousand views on it. But anyway... The, the video goes viral of across the entire world, like literal, like people in Tokyo and African tribesmen are watching it because they suddenly <laughs> speak. They suddenly speak English. And she goes, she's like, I'm sorry to do this to you, but you're now playing truth or dare. Welcome to the game, fuckos. And then the final scene is some random Korean woman is she gets the smiley face. And the whole point is that she didn't stop the demon. She just infected everyone in the world because she's a big YouTube star. Because well, she wanted to buy herself time. Exactly, to figure it out. She was like, Ooh. maybe the government can figure it out or something. <laughs> it's like, it's, <laughs> yeah. But, but li- literally, literally, the ending is the ending is a big YouTube star makes a viral vlog that's so insanely I, popular that everyone on Earth watches it. That's, that's, that's a fair assumption, though, that I always have in those kind of movies with the paranormal, is why doesn't the government just... Like, say, Stranger Things, right? Obviously, you've lost control. The monster is running amok, killing people in this small town. Why don't you just immediately evacuate the town and nuke it? <laughs> I always think of that. Yeah. yeah. Literally nuke it. Just drop a bomb on it. Just evacuate then there wouldn't the be city. a movie. What if it makes yeah. it stronger? <laughs> you don't know that. You'd at least try. <laughs> it's not like it's fucking Godzilla. You don't know if it's gonna feast off of your atomic energy or if you're gonna blow it to bits. Don't just have like that too. Like the American government is it's a conspiracy. They're doing experiments and they lost one of their monsters, but it's only ever like six scientists looking for the monster. Mm-hmm. You think if the American government lost the monster, they'd send the army and not just a little squad of five be like people to look priority. for it in town. Yeah. yeah. What if it's, yeah. It's, what if it it's usually like the nuke? A, they always have like the experts too. Like they'll put in like the most ridiculous like experts on it, like the expert Bigfoot catcher, <laughs> yeah. or like like the yeah. samurai squad that they send in to get it back. Just, I, no, it's even worse. They usually have the lead scientist looking for it personally. Like he's somehow <laughs> doing all the footwork. Like no, he knows he, it better than anyone else, man. man. No, he's supposed to be sitting behind a desk giving the orders, and the SEAL Team 6 is the one supposed to hunt down the monster like Bin Laden and mm-hmm. shoot it. Yeah, you're totally right. Yeah. I mean, that does happen in some movies, but usually the team just gets wiped out. I mean, uh, Rampage did that. Oh, you saw Rampage. Yeah, Rampage is great, awesome. Great movie. <laughs> great movie. I, w- I would venture a guess, and you don't have to agree with me, I would say Rampage is probably the best video game movie ever made. Probably. Yeah, did, did you great buy um, Dwayne Johnson as a zoologist or whatever? This giant, no. fucking swollen <laughs> Samoan man. Yeah. He's like, yeah, I study animals. <laughs> He's fucking so stupid. I wanted to be an animal, so I had to study them first. And, and his fucking sign language, he keeps going like, George, George, it's me, it's me, well, it's what's, me, George. What's funny, it's like, I found what are you doing? There's a, there's a little bit of... Slapping his arms around. It's, yeah. it's even less believable. There's a little bit of trivia in that movie where when he's sign languaging his name, he's just saying rock over and over again. 
<laughs> so if you actually speak sign language, it pulls you even further out of the movie. Oh. I, I knew it looked weird. I saw him kept doing the same thing over and over. I was like, what? <laughs> Have you guys ever Wait, thought is about... the sign language for Rook just like your, your fist closed? He just uh, like, keeps pounding that? his chest and then like slapping his arm. And that's all he did. <laughs> George, it's me. It's me. It's me, George. It's, I'm, I'm like, all right. It was quite literally like Patrick Starr when he was like playing the belly instrument. And he's like slapping oh. his body. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, oh man, now you just gave me a great idea. I want a Spongebob live action movie with The Rock as Patrick. No. Ooh, I, I, I totally want, want Spongebob want live action. Who would play Spongebob then? Tom Kenny. Mm-hmm. Danny DeVito. I want, I've always wanted to make like a really dark, realistic interpretation of Spongebob. Like a David Lynch, like it's black and white. Spongebob is so like it, some uh, weird mm, guy with like a skin Swing. disease that makes his, his skin yellow, you know, something like that. Spongebob's in a van driving around picking up men. It yeah, takes exactly. place at the, uh, the actual <laughs> Bikini Atoll with all the nuclear fallout and shit. Right. Ooh, <laughs> exactly. That, actually, that'd be really cool. That, yeah. It's like post-apocalyptic. Actually, I was thinking of remaking the pizza delivery episode, except it'd be a realistic, um, mm. like... Uh, yeah, the realistic ending where they drive a rock across yeah. the seafloor. Yeah, we well, have to try to find a way to penetration. Make <laughs> I don't know how I serious you are about this movie. Sandy, Ch- Sandy Cheeks is a girl with a horrible disease and has to live in a bubble suit. Yeah, that's what we were saying. She has like some yeah. kind of disease where she can't get. I'm on board with this. I like yeah. this. Sandy, yeah. I-, I feel like in the Stark rendition, she would be a massive racist. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe. I, we no, could that'd do be that. Mr. Krabs. Mr. Krabs would yeah. be just a giant piece of shit, just a yeah. racist and a homophobe yeah, yeah, and all true. sorts of yeah. shit. Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> old old crusty World War II veteran who just hates him. Only want only cares about his money and keeping his lawn clean. Just hates like gays and minorities and all that shit. <laughs> we should yeah, totally make this. Gay yeah. fish. We, we need to write the script uh, together. We can pitch the show. I was shop. gonna say it's kind of already been made. Like there's a very very yeah. disturbing interpretation of SpongeBob as a porn parody called SpongeNob Square Nuts, and it's Ooh. it's downright disturbing yeah. to look at. I've seen it. That's yeah, where that's it, where he uh he pulls his dick out and rubs it all over the glass on Sandy's helmet, right? It, oh, I, I'm looking I can't this up quite right now. That. Oh, it's a yeah, great yeah, what is it? that scene. What's it called? Sponge knob square nuts. It's fucking gross to look at. SpongeBob square. Yeah. We're all looking it up. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> gotta see this shit. I gotta jerk off to it. Let's go. Yeah. Twenty thirteen. <laughs> yeah. They have the intro on YouTube. I'm guessing it's censored or something. Like the sponge looks like it's been used by like a geriatric patient's asshole. Like oh it's so God. moldy and crusty and postule filled. <laughs> Jesus, the it's intro says, sick. "Are you legal, kids?" <laughs> oh, God. I like the, this the costume. It's directed, it's directed by Leroy Myers. Wow. God, yeah. the costume is just on another thing. level. Oh God, yeah, the, the costume I is love, gross. Uh, I love how they ran out of paint <laughs> halfway through, so his arms are yellow, but then his palms are just plain pasty white. Oh my god. It's probably as dark as the Spongebob universe gets, man. Like, that is a diseased man if I've ever seen yeah, one. Yeah, I can't top this. Okay. <laughs> maybe maybe it is a masterpiece. There's a version on YouTube that's sex-free, so they edited out all the pornography, and it's only three and a half minutes long. Oh. So, oh. so maybe it's some next-level filmmaking. Yeah, maybe. I mean, you never know. They definitely kids got the react costume. to SpongeNob Square Nuts. Oh, Great. Are showing kids that. <laughs> Great. Fucking perfect. fine brothers. I like yeah. how everyone's Great not much. mad at them anymore for what they did. I think everyone forgot about it. The, the whole reaction. I don't think anyone actually cared yeah. in the first place. I think it was a lot of bandwagoning. <laughs> yeah. You just think people got mad because they like yeah. getting mad about everything. Well, people got mm-hmm. mad at the beginning be- when they actually tried to do it, but. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Outrage is fun for like a day or two, and then nobody cares once yeah, it's over. Exactly. They sign all the yeah. petitions and whatever. Which the is first... good. I mean, would you really want to keep hearing about it still today? No. no. You want to hear about it for the one or two days where they actually try it, and then you won. They gave up, right? They just couldn't do it. Yeah. Everybody mm-hmm. sh- just shit on them, and they gave up. Good. <laughs> yeah. Happy, yeah. happy end. Mm-hmm. Right. Yeah, I'm fuck just, the I'm fine just brothers. Watching, I'm just watching. Yeah, I'm just... <laughs> I'm so so Ralph, this is happening. <laughs> Ralph, what are your favorite porn parodies then? Oh, I don't have uh I don't watch a lot of porn parodies. Oh, you're a I, film I looked up you're a film buff and you don't have a favorite porn parody? <laughs> yeah, are you I know. fucking kidding me? Exposed. I, I can't watch them. They're just like the lighting is so bad, I just end up focusing on all the technical <laughs> stuff. I'm like, ah, eh, why the fuck why don't you light her vagina more? <laughs> it's all shadowy. 
<laughs> what is this camera? Actually, I've found myself doing yeah. that too. There's a. It's, why don't you shoot I'm it in 4K? Uh, yeah, I'm a big proponent of lesbian porn, and there's this one agency called Viv Thomas. If you're watching uh, camera operators, Viv Thomas, you need to get fucking fired because <laughs> their angles are ridiculous. Like there'll be a great scene going on, and they're focusing on like ass pimples or like oh, something else, God. and they always put like the worst filter over it for some reason, as if it's like a 1980s old western film. It's oh it's mm-hmm. awful to are look. They trying at. to replicate like those old pornos when they were like no, actually it- entertaining. Not at all, because it's always a different filter, but it's always oh. like this puke ass filter that just ruins the entire thing. You don't even know what you're looking at anymore. Yeah, I should yeah. go over there and like, help them out. I'll give you guys some yeah. tips. <laughs> yeah, keep the same agents on there, but just please improve yeah. the camera work and the, the editing. There's really no excuse for that kind of stuff. I mean, when I watch Not porn, at all. I want top level porn. I want high yeah. shelf porn. Top quality. At least good camera angles. Camera angles can't be that hard in that industry. No. <laughs> they really yeah, can't. You'd, you'd be surprised. Well, yeah, I mean, you'd be surprised, though. Have you seen some, like, behind-the-scenes shit of the fucking, like, tantric positions camera operators What, are they hanging from the into? ceilings or something? Yes. Shit? <laughs> Actually, <laughs> yes. Yes. What? There's no... <laughs> How? Do you, okay, so you know that shot where the dude is, like, plowing the chick from behind and they're standing up and you can see, like, right in between the action? The cameraman basically has to like straddle in between them and lean over, and it's the oh. most awkward, uncomfortable shit. <laughs> I, I, well, yeah, co- some shots like that. Yeah. You don't, but there's other ways to achieve that too. They just didn't want to get the equipment for it. Mm-hmm. Look, they had old Steve next door <laughs> just straddle the actress and look down. Look, all I'm saying is I don't think porn camera operators get nearly as much respect as they deserve. They don't deserve any respect. They got to do their job better. Exactly. Remember, uh, what was that? competition that porn competition that they had for a while the viagra Ooh. olympics no no what no, the no. Fuck? he's talking about um yeah yeah, yeah. Uh, the triple it was like america's factor, got talent the sex factor the sex, sex factor, factor i think <laughs> and every episode they would remind the so these are like 18 year old people all trying to get into porn and then they would have this scene where Oh, okay, go and fuck this woman. Oh, see, you're doing it all wrong. Yeah, you're fucking her good, but the camera can't see, can they, Jim? And then they would get <laughs> lectured on how to fuck the women so the camera can actually get a good shot of the action. So it is something mm-hmm. even the actors have to be mindful of. This sounds fascinating. I want to watch this. Yeah, it, was, it wasn't It was bad. I, I was wondering who won, so I looked it up. So Blair, not to spoil it for all of you still watching, it's Blair Williams and Donnie Rock. <laughs> Congrats. Donnie Rock's a good name. Congrats, Donnie Rock. Yeah. yeah. I wonder where he is now. He earned it. Do you ever think that that being a porn star ruins your ability to have regular sex? Like, if you're, like, plowing your girlfriend, you're like, oh, I gotta arc my ass this way so the camera can see. <laughs> <laughs> I gotta make sure no. to, to squeeze your tits this way. Like, you know what I mean? I feel like yeah. it wouldn't be the same treat that it is to all the rest of us. Because imagine if you do taxes all day and then you go home and you have to do more taxes. Kind of... If you do, mm-hmm. you know, whatever your hobby is, once you turn it into work, mm-hmm. you might not mm-hmm. enjoy it as much. I don't know. Yeah, I guess that's fair. Things, that's mm-hmm. totally fair. I guess. I mean, there's there is still a difference though in that where you know you would fuck for work and fuck for pleasure. I mean, there's a lot of plenty of I don't know. We can do a gamer analogy. There's plenty of streamers who play games to stream them, but then still play games in their off time. You know, yeah, fair enough. Mm-hmm. So I don't, I don't know. I mean, if there's any porn stars who want to weigh in on this, please let us know. But I'm, yeah, I'm curious. I guess they're not, they're not, they're not fucking their us. special. They're not fucking their special person on camera. Maybe they go home. Exactly. And it's more like there could be there, different. There's more of a emotional impact with that. That fuck. Yeah, Probably different not. circumstances, different people, tastes, yeah. things you do. Maybe. Yeah. I don't know. Who knows? Ralph, do you know? That's the only way I can see it know. being different. I, mean, I haven't <laughs> tried porn yet. I'll, I'll let you know. <laughs> that's his. That's his next foray. Yeah, I'm, you I'm tr- quitting YouTube to do porno. <laughs> Raph the porn maker. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> that's a good. That's a good yeah. tag. I'm, I'm changing my username right now. Hold on a sec. <laughs> so, what is your most like your biggest pet peeve when it comes to big screen movies? What immediately turns you off of a movie? I'm sure there's got to be at least something. Oh, I don't know. It's all, it's it's like little shit that bothers me now. Little things I, that I complain about in movies a lot. I still have yet to see a movie where like thunder and lightning happen at different times. You know what mm-hmm. I mean? Because yeah. in real yeah. life, it's oh yeah, you know, it's lightning comes That's first and point. then thunder. 
I didn't. Think and I've about yet to that. see a fucking movie ever in my life that does that. And I just, like, I would just love to see one movie that. Do- I know it's a little thing, but I just want to see one movie do it. And I'll right, go, exactly. Holy like, shit. It's these little things where you don't even want to complain about them because you feel like somebody's gonna call you petty for it. Yeah, like everyone's gonna like, oh, what an asshole. With, like, you don't keep your finger on the trigger. It t- takes me out of the action. Yet it's such mm-hmm. a little thing mm-hmm. that if yeah. I brought it up, somebody would shit on me like, oh yeah, Kai, in this huge spy action thriller, that's what you're taken out of the action by. That's what Kaya. makes immersion. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You need to watch Steven Seagal's modern movies. You know, you know Steven Seagal, right? Yeah, the Russian. Puppet. He is. Uh, he is. Uh, he is <laughs> a, a master. He's a master of not understanding little things. There's a movie. <laughs> there. He's a master of not understanding anything. <laughs> There's a movie where he's like a uh, like a like a Navy SEAL or something, like a big army dude. Yeah, and he's filming a scene where him and two other army dudes are like doing a, a walkthrough raid of like a little village in Afghanistan or something. So they're you know they're doing the whole slice the pie. They're hugging the walls. They're checking their quarters and all this. But there's a part. And they, they didn't edit this out, or no one thought to tell him this, where he, Steven Seagal's walking with his gun, he's holding it, you know, he's got the, his finger near the trigger, he's holding it in his right shoulder, but then he's like, oh, I just need to move the gun so I can walk around this corner. He, like, picks it up and, like, puts it at the ground and then just switches hands with it, but in a way where he's, like, holding it so he can just easily shoot the man that he's walking with. <laughs> and, yeah. and just, oh my god, there's so many scenes where he just clearly has no fucking idea of anything that he's doing. I, I feel like that makes a difference. Like, when Keanu Reeves actually took some real training for John right. Wick mm-hmm. on how to use a gun, yeah. you can tell, like, in the movie, it makes a difference. You can it tell it's not a stunt double. Realistic. You can tell he knows how to really? hold a gun yeah. and he can aim correctly. And then you see yeah. guys like, well... I'm trying to think of like an example of someone. Well, Steven Seagal, he just clearly doesn't know how to fire a gun or do any of that shit because he just shows up on set. He's like, oh, whatever. He wants it to look cool, but he doesn't understand how to make it look cool. Right. <laughs> and he, yeah, and he doesn't understand what cool is anymore. Yeah, no, not at he's all. old. <laughs> yeah, he's real fucking old, yeah. man. Now, what, I, what does he do now? He is. He still makes movies. He makes like direct to DVD, direct to online movies. Yeah, but isn't he a Russian refugee or something now? Didn't he go to Russia no. and get Russian citizenship and shook hands with? He's not Putin? allowed. He's not allowed in Russia. What? No, he used that's to be. The, that's the yeah, thing. He he's not allowed in Russia. He's considered a national threat. Yeah, since really? when? Yeah, and that's yeah. Well, you guys definitely know that trivia fact because that's like a big joke with Steven Seagal because he is quite literally considered a national threat to Russia. Oh, no, man. I thought he was liked by the Russians. Mm-mm, he was it's the opposite. as a Russian special envoy, Charlie. Yeah. By Charlie, President you, you got it Vladimir V. Putin. You got it backwards. Okay, May 5th, 2017, Ukraine banned Steven Seagal as threat to national security. August well, 5th, 2018, Steven Seagal appointed as Russia's special envoy to the U.S. Then they must have lifted the ban <laughs> on Steven Seagal, I guess. He's back in the meta. Yeah, that's he how good his movies are. so dangerous. He learned how to hold a gun. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm serious. If you type in Steven Seagal national threat, which sounds like one of his movies, it's nothing but articles from the last like three years about how he's been banned from Russia as a national threat. You said Ukraine, though. The, the Ukraine and Russia are two different places. Yeah, you can't no, ban all... him. That's completely different. Well, I, I quite, There's I'm quite Charlie, certain you can it look was Russia as well. of him shaking Putin's hands and being all buddy-buddy. And if and, you look and, at his Charlie, hands... Charlie, you know why Ukraine uh, banned him? Because he's in because such good graces with Russia. Actually, that makes a lot more sense <laughs> yeah. than getting banned from both. Yeah. <laughs> Charlie, I'll tell you more, but unfortunately, Wikipedia is still banned in Turkey. Yeah. Uh. The same way Mongolia is not a country anymore. <laughs> That's a bonus episode reference, that just is. so you all know. Yeah. Well, look, what, what was your pet peeve, Ralph? Hold on, I want to oh, hear yeah, Ralph. that one oh, yeah, yeah. cliche. Well, I think I think everyone can agree with this. In these superhero movies now, all of them end with like a giant fucking CGI nightmare battle. Yeah, it goes on for twenty five mm-hmm. minutes, and it's all CG, and it looks like shit, and there's no stakes at all. And I'd prefer, yeah. I don't know, or even just a shootout that's <laughs> five minutes long. I think that would be more entertaining than this colossal waste of money and time, and it just gives me a headache every time I see We're it. Talking about Marvel movie, every Marvel, yeah. Marvel, Marvel and movie DC, all of them. I wish, yeah. uh, I wish superheroes well, none could of us go. Watch those. I wish superheroes <laughs> could go back to large but self-contained stories. Like we can't, we can't do that anymore because of Marvel. Like the Dark Knight trilogy was so awesome because it's like, yeah, it was a big epic citywide event and all this shit. But it was just Batman and, it, yeah. and his villains and his story. Now it's like. 
we're going to make a Batman v- v- movie. And then the first question is, where's Superman in it? Well, what's Wonder Woman going to do? What, yeah. what's, like, is it he going to be in it? It has to be this big, grand fucking everybody's doing everything. It can't just be right. simple, like, character-focused stories anymore. Yeah, I hate that. I remember when The Dark Knight was, like, this big epic thing. And now it seems quaint that it's just these three little movies exist. And now we have movies, <laughs> these universes. It's like 20 movies you got to see. Yeah. And DC's trying yeah, to do exactly. it. Exactly. And exactly. Like they're, they're yeah. trying to do it with the universal monsters, although that didn't pan out. It's so stupid. <laughs> oh, they're trying to do it with oh, everything. The dark it's universe. universe. Like, yeah, like, it was a dark universe. Kids, universe let's throw now. them in. Give them a cinematic universe. Just anything. <laughs> yeah. Any no, exa- shit. That's exactly fun. what it is. That's exactly what they're doing. Yeah. Yeah. Just have a mummy movie. It has to be the first in a series of movies. I know. So goddamn lazy. Yeah. Because that's how it has money. to end in a city getting destroyed every single time. God, how do they even rebuild these cities at the pace that they're destroyed <laughs> in these goddamn movies? I know. Plot convenience. Mm-hmm. Well, they, the Marvel Speaking movies do a better job. Oh, fucking, never mind. It's nerdy shit. Oh, Don't worry about it. No, no, no. It's dorky complaining. Don't worry. We'll get back to it. Oh, we well, well that's what we want to hear. Yeah, but okay. the bigger thing we want to hear about right now is Robin Hood. <laughs> Isn't that right, Charlie? That's the one, Andrew. That says convenience to me. Look, Robinhood is an investing app that lets you buy and sell stocks, ETFs, options, and cryptos, all commission-free. I mean, cryptos commission-free, that's that's a big deal. They strive to make financial services work for everyone, not just for the wealthy. They're a non-intimidating way for the stock market to for newcomers to handle the stock market and to invest for the first time with confidence, simple and intuitive. There's a clear design with data presented in an easy to digest way. There's a man on a motorcycle outside my window, and I'm sorry for that. <laughs> I probably have better investments than him. Thanks to Robin Hood. Robin Hood is giving listeners a free stock like Apple, Ford, or Sprint to help build your portfolio. Sign up at official.robinhood.com. That's official.robinhood.com. Amazing. Woo! Almost like he read it yeah. off the script. Oh, nice. He did it. He's been redeemed. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. He got so that. eloquent. Do you have a ghostwriter? Yeah. <laughs> and he, he even knew our link, too, and we didn't tell him. Yeah. 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 I go that on that site all the time. Pick up my Robin Hood. Uh, what were we talking mm-hmm. about? I don't know. Doesn't After matter. Big cities being Complaints. destroyed is the last yeah, Marvel, one I remember. Marvel. I, oh, uh, yeah. Marvel does a better job making their universe make more sense than most of these other places or these universes do. Like, DC's universe is just a fucking disaster. Oh, and Marvel... God. Like, they address things like that, where how do how do the cities get rebuilt? And they show, like, Iron Man's robots. It? Iron Man's robots come in and, like, repair it or something. There's, like... Oh, so there's... Okay. Like, the uh, UN I feel like is in the involved, re- in... and they get repercussions from the UN uh-huh. for destroying buildings. It, it does make sense somewhat. I mean, it's still stupid, but... And money it, grows it makes, on trees, and there's no Great Depression with people killing themselves and starving to death because a major city just got wiped off the planet. Yeah, they don't yeah. mention that part. <laughs> of course not. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. There's a Iron point Man's... where it all just starts to fall apart. And Iron they... Man's stock never plummets. Tony <laughs> Stark is always rich. He's never held yes, accountable for the destruction. It's always going up all the time. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, how yeah. Unbelievable. I mean, y- you got me there, but it doesn't matter. Yeah, they make it fun at least. Yeah, they make DC it fun. can't even make it fucking fun. I don't even know what uh. to do. Every movie, it's like watching so a different sad. universe. It's like some of them are dark, and then this one's a comedy. You see the new I mean, Shazam? It's like, what the fuck is that? That looks like they a went the, coming of age movie. They went the entirely fucking wrong direction because Marvel, like, besides Spider Man, no one gave a shit about the individual heroes until they started doing that. And that's fine and it worked. But with DC, you have such great individual characters. It's like, it's so easy to make a compelling Wonder Woman movie, which they did. It's so easy yeah, to make a good Batman movie, which they had a whole trilogy. It's like you could easily make a good Superman movie, but they're like, no, we got to compete with Marvel and mash up all these characters who would work <clears> way <throat> better as their own story. It's so fucking yeah. sad. A big issue with that, too, is that that the Marvel people had this guy. I forgot his name. Kevin Fee, right? Kevin Feige. He's like uh, in charge of Marvel <laughs> yeah. and he manages it. And I guess DC's the guy who was in charge technically was Zack Snyder. And Zack Ugh. Snyder clearly didn't know what he was doing with this universe at all. He tried to go this really mm. serious dark route and no one liked mm-hmm. it. It was really boring. So, I, I mean, cause it's not, that. it's not Superman. He made man no. of steel, the most depressing, awful movie ever. When Superman's I, I whole <laughs> fucking shtick is that he's the coolest guy in the world. 
You're watching like fucking 9-11 at the end of it when they're going yeah. through buildings and shit. It's like, what, a, what is this? It's yeah, horrible. It was, it was yeah. weird with uh, Lawrence Fishburne and his friend dying. Oh, yeah, Lawrence Fishburne's yeah. just like on a set somewhere, like in the middle of the rubble. It's like, uh, oh, God. I really hope Lawrence Fishburne gets out of this. Meanwhile, fucking like millions of people are getting evaporated. Because Superman's <laughs> shooting his laser through buildings and they're, if, if they're were, snapping in half. It's if like, it were an original character, it would have been a perfectly fine idea where you have like a Superman like figure, but it's all fucked up and gritty and realistic, but not actual Superman. That's yeah. not what he does. He's not the guy. Like, super, if Superman were actually in that movie, he would have flown up to Zod and been all like, all right, Zod, I, I guess I have no choice. We can fight, but let's go to the fucking moon. Or like let's let's fight in the tundra where there's no people. Not oh yeah, fuck Metropolis. Let's bring it on, bitch. I'll break your neck in front of a little girl. I know. It's horrible. Yeah, that like, kind it's of tone, so stupid. That tone works for like Batman, because Batman's dark yeah. and gritty and serious. And I'm convinced <laughs> that the rest of these guys they have in the Justice League, Wonder Woman and who else is in it? The Flash, Flash and Aquaman. Aquaman. The rest of them yeah. don't fit that dark world at all. No, they and yet don't. They, no, no, they no, made no. this whole like world dark. It makes no sense. Like, Batman's supposed to be the odd one out. He's the dark one. And everyone yeah, else yeah, is they like made campy. Dark, they made and, it dark and, for Batman because he's the one that makes them the most and, money. And, yeah, right. But the rest the of other, them don't work. You have a Superman other, that's uh, fucking boring. And like, the other huge problem on that is that the, you get these all mismatches in tone. Like, the Flash is a jokester. He's a, he's a little campy, like, dumb idiot who quips and this and that. So if you have this dark, edgy universe, and then you have the Flash going, ah, he didn't see that one coming. It's like it's just it's so out of place and awful yeah. and awkward. The I know. Technical and then aspect the next, of it the too. next scene, uh, the next scene, so Flash ahead, gets yes. decapitated or something. Yeah. His legs are broken. He can never <laughs> run again. And he's like, that's Bring one way to, to get doctor. ahead. Ha 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 ha. What I was gonna say, it's not just the writing though, the uh, setting. It's from a technical <laughs> standpoint, it's so bad too. Yeah. Like if when you watch Marvel movies, aside from the writing, they from technical standpoint, it's marvelous. Like when you watch Infinity War, nice. uh, Thanos looks real. Like you yeah. can almost yeah. not even tell anymore that he's CGI. That's yeah. impressive to me. Mm -hmm. Right? The lighting, everything's perfect. You tune into Justice League or whatever, and you look at it and you go, yeah. A YouTuber made this, like Sam Hyde made this in his backyard <laughs> with a green screen. Are you kidding me? What the fuck is this? Henry Cavill's lip. You have scandals with like your photoshopping uh, Superman's mustache <laughs> yeah. and it looks like he's uh. smelling a lemon or something. What is going on? What oh, are you man, doing? Man. Uh. You just run up Photoshop and you, you remember the Aquaman trailer that was literally like video game cutscene level graphics oh, from the yeah. GameCube? Yeah. Yeah. They're terrible. Oh, they're just God. so fucking terrible. I don't know how they're fucking this See, up so badly. How, how does that happen? DC, you're DC, DC must have enough money to hire the right studios. Come on. Is this like oh, a contractual do. issue? Is They had oh, Zack Snyder in company, charge. That was the problem. They fucking Christopher Nolan, who is arguably the biggest director in the world right now after maybe J.J. Abrams. They like, had God him. damn it. They had him for Man of Steel, had, and then yeah. he's yeah. like, I'm getting the fuck out of here after that. Like, and he's all making saying. good is, movies. Is this a contractual issue? Like, the, the one company in Hollywood who's good at CG... Are they obligated to not work on any movies other it's, than Marvel, maybe? It's the maybe? company being disorganized. They don't know yeah. what they want to do, and they keep trying these new things, and they're altering movies while they're being finished. <laughs> Halfway through production, they changed Suicide Squad. They changed Justice League. I mean, Snyder it's like was you let can't. go before Justice League was finished, right? Yeah, his, actually, there was a yeah. tragedy involving his daughter, uh, yeah. so he had to leave. But I, I was convinced mm. they were probably going to... They might have fired him anyway and changed his movie. I mean, like, very possible. What, what they killed they, his daughter. Uh, <laughs> we gotta get rid of the Snyder fella. Take her out. <laughs> I don't think they did that. But like, yeah, it was. It's just a mess. They're so disorganized. There's some heavy accusations there, Ralph. I, I, yeah, like, listen. So they, they they fix these whole movies and they try to change them halfway through and then you have to re-render all of the visual effects again and that takes time and money, right? They had to CGI his yeah. mustache. That cost $25 million. Oh my so God. this movie cost $300 million and it looks cheap as shit because they keep changing mm. everything while they're making the movie and they have a oh, deadline. It costs so much. There's nerds because on Reddit who can money. Deep fake porn mm -hmm. that looks better. You got like good directors like Ridley Scott he plans everything out before with like, you know, he has the artists go on and make 
character designs and whatever. And then he spends money making it real. Then he spends money on visual effects and, and costumes. That's how you're supposed to do it. You can't just like this endless cycle. I'm going to keep changing everything while I'm making a movie. I'm sure, I'm sure the directors of Justice League and such had an idea, that same idea of creating this universe, and they wanted to stick to the plan too. I'm sure it's studio intervention that changed that, right? Yeah, well, Zack like Snyder had his comes vision, in and, decides, and then Zack Snyder yeah. had to leave the project for you know that reason. And then the studio brought in Joss Whedon to do reshoots, and Joss Whedon wanted a campier, funnier movie, you know? Oh, so they God, reached, so they changed him. the whole movie. <laughs> well, I mean, yeah, they fucked up immediately by bringing him in. You Jesus, like you him? can feel the... <laughs> I, I fucking hate Joss Whedon, but even then, you could feel the, like, the really awkward, not working parts of Justice League came from his mouth. Just, yeah. Just uh, not understanding the tone at all. It's pretty clear. You, you can tell. Yeah. This Gal Gadot wasn't available for reshoots either, so they had to keep using, like, a body double for her. You can see her. Like this body double, it's like that's Gal Gadot. That's not her. It's such a cheap. I had no idea, movie. actually. Oh, you gotta go back. Uh, I was so distracted out. by like the horrible CGI. Like anytime <laughs> Flash was even used, it looked like he was like a fucking wet spaghetti noodle. <laughs> it was terrible. Everything, every set, the like villain. go outside. Well, I mean, why knowing are you their CG bone? green screening a park? Yeah, go I to the you. park. <laughs> <laughs> it's easier. It's air conditioned in the studio. They just got to build a little set. Yeah. It's easier, but it looks like shit. You're right. They have to rent tanks to get them out there. It costs money, Kai. You don't understand. Yeah, yeah you've just obviously never made a, a movie. Right. And then they spend $25 million on a fucking mustache. I don't get it. I just don't get it. I also... I, I honestly... I completely agree with Ralph. I don't, I'm not even going to place the blame on Snyder or Whedon anymore, man, because... They do constantly just keep changing the movies that they've already filmed, and there's no it's way they can like, rush out. They cannot mm-hmm. rush out that kind of quality. Mm-hmm. They already have the deadline; they can't push it back, so they're fucked. Right. And Aquaman, I think they've already just jumped <laughs> jumped shark for lack of a better pun. They just gave up. <laughs> they're hoping for it's Shazam. Horrible. Shazam might be good. They, I mean, who knows? I thought Shazam at least stayed kind of true to the character, right. but with Aquaman, Jesus fucking Christ, they they literally stock image Getty imaged the, the poster as the Most official poster. Hey, that's that's true. Aquaman. You, stuck you guys photos. remember that mm-hmm. time when Aquaman, who's supposed to be like a fair, just, powerful king of an underwater civilization, and like fights for his people and has these convictions of teamwork and justice? Remember when he was an alcoholic with shitty looking <laughs> hair? Yeah, who did nothing involving the water. <laughs> it's overcompensating because Aquaman sucks. Aquaman is a bad character and he's a joke. So they're but like, he doesn't get have Jason to be. Momoa and he's gonna that, have long hair and he's gonna drink whiskey. It, it is. Oh, and the, the look problem. at the face. <laughs> it's so fucking dumb. It's like overcompensating. It's, it's, We're gonna have a small the, penis. The body he to full be. penetration. He doesn't oh, fucking yeah. have to be. You can make him played, a goofy uh, Aquaman either, but like, well, I mean, made the whole universe dark. So. Like, what are they going to do with him, you know? Have you have you uh, played or looked into Injustice? What they uh, did with yeah. Aquaman? They made him a fucking badass. Well, he's just a prince. They made he's him, just a prince Well, in that's that. what Aquaman is. He's just a badass, like, king of the fucking sea. And he just talks to I fish. I thought he was boring. He's, I thought I he was know. boring in Injustice. I mean, that's, I'd rather have him boring than be all like, ugh, the Listen. sea is full of nothing but darkness. <laughs> Aquaman's useless. <laughs> I, I, I don't think... I, I, Aquaman will never be cool. Well, Aquaman's a stupid character. I could just go yeah. in the desert yeah. and fucking there you go. <laughs> Yeah. I'll put my lair in the desert. No, 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 what no, are you no, going to no, do now, nah, Aquaman? Nah. Fuck you. Oh, Ralph, oh, you're so clueless. Didn't you watch the trailer where he's sky diving into the desert? <laughs> oh, yeah. That happened in the trailer? you forget? No. Yeah. yeah. It's a trap. <laughs> really? Yeah. yeah. He's skydiving into the literal desert with, oh my like, God. riding a shark or something. I bet... I, I bet I it's a secret up. ocean there or something. There's yeah. a secret ocean there. I'm calling the it right now. Sand's gonna part, and he's gonna go to an underwater yeah. aquifer. That's, yeah. <laughs> or, or he'll be like, the desert is just land oceans. <laughs> <laughs> and he'll start Aquaman. swimming in the sand. Prove me wrong. He's gonna like f- all philosophical, like the sands. They're just like drops of water. <laughs> Look how they the move. raging tides. Yeah. He's gonna, he's gonna be like, I'm on land, but when you see the water, that's what I call land. <laughs> like just, just some nonsensical superhero bullshit. I just I went to look at the trailer again because I like when he jumps out of the plane into the desert, and apparently like the there's a character in the movie called Ocean Master. Oh, of course, Ocean Master, the classic villain. Good old Ocean Master. <laughs> also, DC has the worst villains. Batman has I'm, good villains. Uh, the rest I'm of them kind of excited for Black Manta though. Black Manta's cool. 
It looks, looks like a Power Rangers. No, villain. he looks awful in the movie, but I just mean as a general yeah. villain. Black Manta's entire oh. motivation is I hate Aquaman. I want him to die. That's my entire character. I think he's cool as fuck. I also think Black Manta's cool as fuck, but I don't know anything about Ocean Master. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe he's going to be like the secret star. They, yeah. You know, they really just need to, if they want to hedge their bets, but also do something new, they need to go back to just Batman. And they need to make like a, I don't know, like an escape from Arkham movie. Like, yeah. like, mm. like maybe not focus yeah. on the Joker or like, I don't know, do like the Riddler, do Two-Face, do Penguin, do some other villains and make it like a, like a Batman's got to stop this big organized, organized crime bullshit. Keep it small scale, make yeah. it exciting. That's all that they have to do to make that's, a good that's movie what makes that people want to watch. Yeah, exactly. Mm-hmm. Arkham whole, games are great. And, and they, 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 they do fucking, just that. Yeah. They undervalue him in Justice League because it's like Batman is this awesome fucking character. But the instant that you go, by the way, in another city is a literal alien who can lift a car. No one gives a fuck about yeah. Batman in that universe anymore. Batman's it's useless like, against oh. aliens and super gods like this. That's why another exactly. reason this just sucks. Yeah. <laughs> it's like, what's he going to do? He has he'll throw what a batarang fu- at it. He, what the fuck gets does Batman together? against giant bug aliens calling the Tesseract or some right. shit? It's like nothing. It's useless. <laughs> Yeah. But he's so cool on his own. If you just keep it Batman, he's fucking cool as hell. <laughs> yeah. But they Man, won't Aquaman do that. Aquaman has some great villains. So I, I'm on an Aquaman binge. Like, his villains are called King Shark, Garth, <laughs> Garth. Aquagirl. Who's <laughs> yeah. Garth? Garth? <laughs> Amazo. Amazo. <laughs> what does Amazo do? <laughs> yeah, what are their powers? He's a, uh, I'll look real quick. His name's Amazo. He's a super villain. He's uh he's got the power of an android. He's got the power of, like a, the phone. <laughs> yeah, like the phone. Yeah. He's just he's just an android. That's his superpower. And he, Has he, he updated hates iPhones. Recently? <laughs> yeah, his, his, he mission, hates his mission is to destroy Apple. Uh, he gets my vote just because his name's Amazo. <laughs> Christ, Aquaman needs to just be forgotten. I think this is bad. Yeah. This is who he fights. It's just embarrassing. Booster Gold. <laughs> oh well, Booster Gold's a, a hero, I think. Oh, is he? Yeah. I, I typed in Aquaman no, no one, villains. No one gives a fuck about Booster Gold anyway. Booster Gold's been around for a while, but no one cares about Booster Gold. It's the first Booster, time his name's been said in Bo- history. Booster fucking Gold is a hero that's so spectacular that during uh, the Death of Superman comics, one of their most read and famous comic lines ever, he plays a vital role, and then they just stop. He just he just disappears. Like they just stop writing him in the story at all because no one gave a fuck about him. <laughs> like literally, the first like few stories, he's fucking around with Superman and doing important things, and then he just amazingly disappears because everyone realized, oh, who cares about Booster Gold? <laughs> <laughs> I'll attribute it to the name and the costume. Yeah. He looks like a condom that got dipped in oil. <laughs> And yet, now that we've said this, we're going to get that one fan somewhere in our comments going, Booster Gold's the fucking best! Oh. You just don't understand his motivations. <laughs> More power to that guy. He clearly has passion for something. He's, he's wearing we a full Booster Gold costume while we're playing. <laughs> he's got, like, his catchphrase, I'm boosting. <laughs> it's just the Booster Gold creator, though. I'm trying to look up his yeah. abilities. He has a lot. Gold, he uh, utilizes gold. okay. He utilizes advanced technology. He flies. He has energy blasts, force fields, enhanced strength, time travel, and various other abilities. Jesus. What the fuck? And he's an expert in hand to hand combat. And, he's good. Yeah. yeah. If he can time he's travel, he's the strongest gold, like the man best in the world ever. What the fuck? And they just got yeah, rid of him. No and one. A guy gives who a can fuck time travel him. and just get rid of him. Okay. No one gives a fuck about Booster Gold. <laughs> what, what a looks goddamn like a shame. X Man. Yeah. yeah, like like the guarantee, like the uh, quintessential action figure that you would have got as like a kid. Yeah, yeah, like the Off stock brand. action figure. Like, you mm-hmm. Got out of the dollar bin or like at a dollar store. Yeah, those yeah, yeah. Cheap plastic ones. There's Booster Gold. Oh, he's on one of these DC shows. Oh yeah, he's in Smallville. Booster Gold. See if you could look up the live Ooh. action Booster Gold. He looks like a fucking. Uh, oh my god! I can't say that see- word. Oh yeah, you're looking at. <laughs> You're looking at that photo? Yeah. Oh, it's like blue God. and yellow. You, he looks he looks like Guile from Street Fighter, but <laughs> worrying about his taxes. Here, I'll, I like I'll the little the star. The little star in oh, his chest. Jesus. That's There's so your booster gold, everybody. So cute. Oh man. Wow. Oh, oh wow. Yeah. I mean they did their best. He's a Who's that fighter from Mortal Kombat that's a cop? He looks like him. Striker? Striker, yeah. Mm. 
Yeah. He looks yeah. like he's about to motorcycle over 16 buses or some shit. <laughs> oh, okay, that would make him cool. <laughs> that would make him very cool. Yeah. He's got cool powers, I guess. If you can fucking time travel, they need to just rewrite Booster Gold with like a cool name like Xander Mega Man. Yeah, that's much cooler than Booster Gold. <laughs> Xander Mega Man. Yeah, Xander so cool. Mega Can't be Man. that. <laughs> Maybe I shouldn't be designing the comic characters. <laughs> Xander Mega Man. <laughs> there he is, Xander Mega Man. He looks yep. like a Xander Mega Man. I'd not believe that. He looks like, I put it in general, he looks like Jarek from Subway. Oh, he does. <laughs> <laughs> he looks like He looks like Jim Carrey's The Mask, but like slightly dumber. And wearing Gunner gaming glasses. <laughs> yeah, he's, he's got Google glasses on. What's that called? Google glasses. Let's turn it on right now. Let's turn it on outfit. <laughs> what are these patches on him? Like on the side. Is this sponsors. Just, yeah, it's like he's yeah. got like sponsors on his fucking superhero suit. The Firestone he, and Goodyear. He does it for a living. He's like, oh, I spike cry, but I have all this ad space on my suit. He's... It's got to be free at advertising. They're not paying. What, we're running ads on Booster Gold. Are you fucking kidding me? Cancel that shit. You couldn't no, get free. Batman Don't worry. or someone cool? Yeah. Can we put like a logo on Batman or someone, anyone else? Anyone? No, you know what's going to happen? Booster Gold. You know what's going to happen? Everyone's going to go to the Aquaman movie and it's it's going to be like disappointing and they're going to be like, oh, you know, it was bad, but at least it wasn't a Booster Gold movie. <laughs> no, I hope it's uh, like the flip side of that coin. They tease Booster Gold. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Yeah, it's like the post credit scene. Everybody, it's Booster Gold. Brought to you by what the Krispy f- Kreme. He has like a Krispy Kreme patch off on the side. And then like everyone... In- all, all in unison at the the audience is who the fuck is that <laughs> mailman that just called him? No, I was gonna say in Iron Man, I think in the ending scene we were teased with Thor's hammer. What would Booster Gold's item be? <laughs> His, His gunner glasses, glasses rain from the sky. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, what are these? Oh my god, it's Booster Gold. <laughs> <laughs> he travels back in time with a keyboard and mouse back to biblical times. Yeah. That's the fucking controversy on boards and such, just like the first time they revealed Thanos. Like, is that Thanos? <laughs> is that him? Oh, it's him. It's him. It's Booster Gold. Whoa. <laughs> Stand back, everybody. <laughs> Could this be the Booster Gold live action we've been waiting for? <laughs> what, they'll make a Booster Gold movie in five years when they run out of fucking ideas. Uh, I and fucking hope so. They made a- oh my god, it's gonna Booster Gold. It's gonna be played by The Rock. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> they should get someone like way overbilled for the Booster Gold yeah. role, like a Brad Pitt or a DiCaprio. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Oh god, what a great fucking hero. I'd never heard of this guy, but now I want more booster gold in my life. I feel like, just looking at that slack-jawed expression, Ben Affleck could perfectly play him if, if he oh, ever gets yeah, out of rehab Ben Affleck's already again. Batman. Yeah. He'd be yeah he, he could be a, yeah, but he's he could a be drunk, he's not gonna booster. remember that. Just put a contract <laughs> yeah, in front of dare, him. He was Daredevil ten years ago, he doesn't remember that either. Oh, that's true, he did play another hero, that's right, he could be the booster gold we need. <laughs> He went from Daredevil oh, to Batman to Booster Gold. What a what a fucking career. <laughs> <laughs> a significant upclimb and then a sharp downturn. <laughs> yeah. And his wife was Electra. All right, Ralph. Well, we'll go ahead and wind down. After talking about Booster Gold, all this other shit's just going <laughs> to pale in comparison. <laughs> go ahead, Ralph. Really appreciate you coming on, man. Shout out your shit. Oh, Let's shout out it. my shit. Okay, well, I have a channel where I ended the main series, so... Uh, you can still go on my channel though. I'll upload movie related content and I'm making a, a short mini series that'll be out sometime next year called golden hour. So look for that. And that's it. That's all I got to plug. You guys got anything to plug? I mean, we'll <laughs> simple and to the point. Yeah. <laughs> Let's lobby for booster gold. I want yeah, to rally behind a that booster flag. Gold film. Yeah. I'm going to raise booster- a million dollars on Kickstarter. So if you guys want to gold movie 2020, up. make it happen. Yes, yeah. we're going to try to get The Rock. Where are you, Snyder? We should all do fan art of Booster Gold and then share it next week. Oh, if yeah. Any of you, if I'll, any of you talented right artists, if any of you talented <laughs> artists out there want to want to really make our day, draw all of us as Booster Gold. We'd love it. <laughs> yeah. Draw some oh, Booster Gold suits. Uh, suits. A Booster Gold <laughs> fan art corner, the first of its kind. <laughs> The guy who invented Booster Gold's like, oh my god, my character's finally making a resurgence. He probably doesn't even yeah, remember making it Yeah, I was about to say, you could tell him, hey, we made Booster Gold art, and he'd go, who? 
refuse to go. <laughs> I haven't heard that yeah, name fuck. in years. What the fuck That's is a, a bullshit? Name. <laughs> That's a stupid yeah. name. I was on drugs when I came up with that. <laughs> uh, really appreciate you coming on, I though, love Ralph. Being yeah, on. Man. Thank you, guys. Yeah. It was awesome. Thank you. And thank you to everyone at home listening. Thanks for tuning in to the official podcast, the only podcast that's official. We'll see you next week. Oh, wait, no. Uh, we've got a Patreon. I was just kidding. I was just kidding. I'm not done yet. We've got a patreon.com slash the official podcast. If you want to support us, you can head on over to that link. See all the perks. Bonus um, episodes, and you can find out why we joked about Mongolia if you sign up. Mm. Ooh, <laughs> nice. Right. Mm-hmm. Hook, line, and sinker. Yeah. Andrew, do you want to do your little thing? Well, there's a lot of ways to listen to this podcast because we're international superstars, but if you want to listen to it on an audio format such as iTunes or Spotify or wherever, that would make our day just a little bit brighter. That's it. Okay, beautiful. Okay. And with that, we'll see you next week. Thanks. Bye. 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 Bye.